Laboratory Field Services Online Application System Video Tutorial How to Apply for a New Facility Before you start, please note the online application system is optimized for use in your desktop computer or laptop. This tutorial is for a new business with a single testing site. Summary of procedure. Create an account, but skip this step if you already have one. Log in. Add business. Add testing site. Review. Upload documents. Pay, and submit application. Step 1. Create an account. Skip creating an account if you already have one. Go to our website to log in. To create an account, go to https colon slash slash account portal dot cdph dot ca dot gov slash licensing dot aspx Enter your information. We recommend using your facility's email address. Know the password requirements by clicking the question mark next to the password. Avoid using words found in the dictionary. Verify that you are not a robot and click Submit. Remember your username or user ID, then click Close. This will take you to the login page. Step 2. Login. You can also find the login link on our website at cdph.ca.gov slash lab licensing. The login link is on the left side. Login using either your user ID or email and your password. Click Laboratory Facilities. Read the Privacy Disclaimer. To agree, click I have read and accepted the above terms checkbox. Then, click Proceed. Are you the owner of the laboratory facility? Choose Yes. If you are the owner of the facility you are creating an account for, then click Submit. Complete the key demographics information. Then click Submit. Choose No. If you are not the owner of the facility you are creating an account for, then click Submit. Verify the key demographics information. Then click Submit. Before you click the new button, please make sure that your facility does not already exist in our system. Click the search button and search for your facility. Since you are not renewing and you don't have a renewal ID, click No. Then, enter at least two IDs. Enter a state ID, Clio ID, or federal tax ID, then click Search. If there is a search result, make sure it is your testing site or business. Do not link if it is not. To link this site to your account, click the Link Site button. A confirmation window will pop up. Click Yes to confirm. Please note. If your site was in the search result, and you have linked it to your account, continue by referring to How to Renew Tutorial, which can be found on our Help page. In this example, we are assuming that your site does not exist. Click the New button to continue. Step 3. Add Business Information Step 3. Add Business Information Click Add New Business to continue. Fields required are marked with asterisks. All information must match your CLIA information. 
In this example, we are selecting corporation as the ownership type. Click next to continue. Enter your business mailing address. Click validate then click next. Please note, the system might not be able to verify a valid address correctly. If you see an address error, verify the address again, and click edit if you need to correct the address. Or, you can click confirm to verify that the address is correct. Click next, after verifying the address. Provide the contact person's name, the title, the email address, and phone numbers of the business. Then, click Next. Add ownership information by clicking the Add button. Select if parent company or individual. In this example, we're selecting individual. Fill in the required information. Select the appropriate role. Accept for the role authorized representative. An owner with any assigned role will be printed on the certificate. Then, click Save. You have successfully added an item in the ownership information. Click Add if you need to add more. Or, click Next. Click Next to add a laboratory testing site to this business. Step 4. Add testing site information. Update each field with the testing site information. This field determines the basic fee due upon checkout. You can still change this on the next screen. Please note, only select yes if you qualify under BPC 1241 to avoid delay. Validate the address, then click Next. Enter tests performed. The system will guide you by clicking the appropriate options for your site. Type in Analyte name to see the options. Or, you may upload a completed Lab 144A. Download Lab 144A from this link. HTTPS colon, slash, slash, go, dot, USA, dot, gov, slash, xd5dd. Click Add Laboratory Director to add a new one. Click the drop-down if the individual has been licensed by LFS. If not, click Add New Individual. Complete the required fields. Click Add Role. Click the drop down and choose the appropriate role. In this example, we're adding a new laboratory director. On the same window, scroll down to add the license details. Click Add License. Select License Type, and complete the required fields.
Scroll down to select one or more test specialty. To select all specialties, click the Add All Specialties button. Or click Remove All Specialties to remove all selected items. Click the Add button. You have just added a laboratory director. Add more, or, alternatively, you may upload a completed Lab 116 form. Download the form by going to https colon slash slash go dot usa dot gov slash xd5 dd then click next click next to continue the license application step 5 review upload documents pay and submit application select all sites to include on the application or click Add Site, to add more testing set under the same tax ID. Then, click Next. Review the business information and click the Next button to move to the next step. Review the testing site information and click the Next button to move to the next step. Download the forms. Complete, sign, and upload on this page. Additional documents for review can be uploaded here. Each file must be less than 50 MB. Click Next. Review your application summary. Then, click Next. Read the application attestation. Sign and click Accept before clicking the Submit button. Click the shopping cart button. Select the items to be included in the transaction. Then click proceed to checkout button. Select your preferred payment method. Enter your billing information. Click the checkbox to authorize the non-refundable payment. Then, click Submit when you're ready. Your receipt will be emailed to the business email address and to your billing email address. Click Close to go back to your dashboard or welcome screen. On your business welcome screen, notice that your application status is now pending for review. Please note. Check your email regularly. We might email you if additional information or document is required. Once approved, you can go to your business dashboard to view the testing site's information. Click the refresh button to see the current information in your dashboard. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit our website at www.cdph.ca.gov slash LFS. If you have questions, email us at lfscc at cdph.ca.gov.